Good morning, Nova High School. We have some shout news, sports, and does anyone want to know what was up with all those sticky notes on Valentine's Day? you may have noticed sticky notes with carrying messages everywhere. We sent our reporting team made up of Colin and Brody out to investigate. They found the answer in the library. Well, the project was called uh, Caring Day, and the reason we did it was that we perused different yearbooks for ideas just like they peruse ours, and we ran across one where a young girl felt that Valentine's Day was a very hard day for a lot of people. Maybe you've lost someone, or maybe you've had a breakup, but everybody deserves to feel good about themselves. So I presented it to the yearbook class and said, would you like to do it? And if we do, it is to make sure that every student in our school would receive a Valentine. And, you know, it may be lame, we didn't know how it would go over, but if it made one person feel good, then it was wonderful. And that's why we did it. And they wanted to do it. We started on it probably a month ago. Just my yearbook kids came in all hours, not during yearbook, because we had too much to do for the yearbook. So they came in after school, during lunch, sometimes when they finished I guess tests or homework in other classes, then they were able to come in. Please don't forget that the International Club will be meeting today just after school in Ms. Alder's room in the East Hall. In sports, later today at 5 p.m., be sure to catch the baseball team playing at home versus Lots, Lots and Ike. On Thursday night, you can check out Varsity Soccer at Newcastle at 5.30. Then, you can welcome soccer back home on Friday night where we will play Chick Shay. And also, good luck to baseball as they head to the Bricktown Ballpark later on Friday night to face Bridge Creek at 7. Say goodbye to your golf friends on Thursday because you won't see them Monday. The girls will be at the Muskogee Golf Club and the boys will be at Purcell. And finally, on Monday at 5, be sure to support baseball at home as they face off against Del Reno. Be sure to head to the high school this Friday night at 6 p.m. for the annual band chili supper. Advanced sale tickets available now. Kids fifth grade and younger are $3 and sixth grade students to adults are $5. Tickets for everyone will be $6 at the door. But before we sign off, we would like to invite Emily Bird back on the show to talk about Shot Week. Welcome back, Emily. Sorry for not having you on last week. It's all good. <laughs> so, first off, I'd like to say that I'm most interested in off-campus lunches during Shout Week. So, how does that work? Okay, so you can buy your pass at your lunchtime. The cost is $5 per day or $20 a week. And then you'll get wristbands that'll let you off-campus during Shout Week during your second hour. Okay, so what all do we need to know about Knocker Ball this Thursday? Registration forms are due Thursday before noon, and it's at the football field. It starts at 6, and it's $5 to watch. Okay, and where can we find the master schedule? It's on the Noble website, but it's also on our Shout Week Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page. Okay, when do we get our t-shirts? T-shirts are in, and we're distributing today throughout the day from your Stuco member you ordered it from. Okay, well that's all we have for you today. This is Ashlyn and Emily signing, signing off. off. Where'd you? Uh, hey, your tumbleweed. My tumbleweed! <laughs> I got it. Oh. Ow! Are you okay? Your shoulder blade. <laughs> Rip. There she goes. Uh, I didn't know.